Hi guys, this is Danny, your termite guy, and this week we're back with Efren Velasco. We're going to be talking a little bit about silverfish this week. Um, Efren, it's this time of the year when I get some calls from people and their wives, my wife, you know, she sees the silverfish in the house. They're little scaly things with little hairs on them. They look kind of creepy. Um, what does it mean when you have silverfish? How can you, is there stuff that you can do? What are they attracted to in your home? So yeah, I mean, the first questions I get about silverfish, you know, do they bite, do they sting? Are they harmful? Essentially the answer is no, it's, it's, a, it's a nuisance pest. So they don't bite, they don't sting. Uh, what they are attracted to is a couple different areas within a structure. Normally we have silverfish issues uh, in older homes and maybe it had a past leak, it's a little, you know, older homes are a little bit draftier, so there's more areas for them to be in. If at any given point the house had any wallpaper, because they use glues for wallpapers, they're attracted to those areas. So usually um, it's going to be a problem in a little bit older homes, or given enough time, a uh, house starts deteriorating a little bit, um, there's specific areas of moisture, because they're looking for moisture and looking for food. It's one of the oldest known insects that we have around us. But if you have a silverfish problem in your home, it is a difficult thing to control because it's impossible to put the materials where the silverfish are. Um, so the best that we can do essentially on a professional level is doing some, you know, putting some product placement in and around different areas. As far as the homeowners can do, it would be try to seal everything up as best you can. So if anything is open, uh, moisture conditions are conducive for them. So if there's any moisture, any sort of leaks, or any area in the home that, that for whatever reason, you know, gets accumulation of moisture, taking care of those problems, that would definitely help. Uh, also trying to get rid of as much of their food source as possible. So stuff like glues and, and things like that, that they are attracted to. Essentially, like I said, in older homes, it, it can be very difficult. Even professionals have a really difficult time because they can be, you know, pretty much anywhere inside of a structure. Mm -hmm. and, by law, we can't put material in every single part of the structure. So we, we do also have a difficult time. Um, so it may be an ongoing resurgence type of a problem, but if you do some of those things, it will definitely cut down on populations. It will definitely cut, if you cut down on food source and any conditions, it would definitely knock down populations. Gotcha. So like in your attic, don't store any kind of cardboard material, get away from that kind of Maybe stuff. Glues. Maybe put more stuff in totes. Oh. In your garage, you can do stuff yeah. like that as well. Yeah. Keep things dry. Um, don't store stuff that are moist and wet, um, things like that. Those are things that you can do in your home. Thanks, Efren. So, hey, guys, if you have any questions about silverfish, termites, or any other pests, you can call my cell, 619-843-3700. Thanks for watching.